my god guys welcome to today's video in which we're going to be learning a lot but before we begin with the video guys it's very important to me that you guys hit that subscribe button to help the channel grow hit that like button if you find this video useful and don't forget to share with your friends so let's begin oh my god Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be tackling the angle addition postulate. So let's begin. So first, we're going to be defining the angle addition postulate, which says that if a point D is inferior of the angle ABC, then the measurement of angle ABD plus the measurement of angle DBC is equal to ABC. Basically, it says that if we have a point B in the center of a huge angle like ABC, which is this big one, the angle CBD plus the angle DBA, the sum of those two angles is actually going to give us the whole angle, right? So again, the angle CBD plus the angle DBA is going to give us the whole angle C B A. Again, you have to remember the notation of angles, guys. C B D D B A and then C B A is the whole thing. So that means that if we add when we add this one plus this one is going to give us the whole thing. It's very similar to the segment addition postulate. So let's try doing a problem. So given that the measurement of the angle JML, again, JML, which is the whole thing, is 80 degrees, and that the angle KML, again, KML, so this one, is 33 degrees. What is the angle JMK? JMK. So this is the one they're asking us, right? So again, we have to remember the postulate. The postulate, the postulate says that the measurement of angle JMK plus the measurement of angle KML is going to be equal to the measurement of the angle J m l right so in this case j m k is the one they are asking us to find so we don't have that value the measurement of angle k m l k m l we were given that that is 33 degrees and then j m l which is the whole thing j m l is going to be 80 degrees so if we want to find this and we have to isolate it then this is going to pass to the other side subtracting so the measurement of angle j m k is going to be the subtraction of 80 degrees minus 33 degrees because of the property of the angle addition okay postulate so it's very very important that you guys remember that so in this case the measurement of angle j m K is going to give us an answer of 47 degrees. And that is going to be our answer, guys. Just remember that whenever we have a point in the center or in the middle of a bigger angle, we can actually just add the two angles to get the whole angle. And that's pretty much it, guys. So review the angle addition postulate and try doing this problem over and over again so that you're prepared for more problems to come. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills. And make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts. Drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye.